Hello, I wanted to do a video talking about this new service that I have found out about that's called Relay That. Just a bit of background. I run a few websites, so I've been using Canva to help me to design things like logos and images for Pinterest and things like that. I've been on the free version of Canva and I was kind of thinking of upgrading because it's kind of annoying when you have a lot of um, various brands that you are trying to work on at the same time. If you don't have the pro version of Canva then you can't organize all of the resources in a good way. But then before I actually signed up for the the paid version of Canva I found out about Relay That and seriously I am blown away. I haven't made a video for quite a while and I just this thing blew me away so much that I just wanted to make a video because it's the perfect thing for anyone that is running multiple brands. If you are they're doing any kind of designing for multiple brands at the same time this is going to be absolutely perfect I mean it's it is a fairly new service so it might not be absolutely perfect in every way but they do seem to want to be you know finding out about feedback from the customers and like improving their service because I already emailed the uh, the customer support about one issue and they got back to me like really quickly and were asking if everything was clear and stuff like that so I have a really good first impression of the support now I actually was able to get this through app sumo app sumo but of course there this is only going to be available for a short amount of time so in the description of this video I'm going to put actually two links one is to the app sumo version of this and then one is like a general version after that because it, obviously this video is going to be up for longer than the duration of the app sumo offer and it's going to be annoying if you can't find where to where to actually buy this product because it's what well, i i think it's amazing okay so one of the things that is absolutely great you can see in the top left hand side I have this little box here and at the moment it says small business. Now I can actually click on that and I've got all these work spaces so I can easily look, click across to healthcare. So this is what I love and then everything here is only for that branding. So if I was to go here onto uploads and if I was to upload my own stuff here it would only show in this work area which is great because it straight away organizes all my stuff like really well because that was one of the things that was so annoying in Canva after I'd been uh, working there for a while I just had like images all over the place it was a mess okay so what you basically have to do or certainly this is what I've been doing so you start off if you see here, there's like this eye icon. It's a, it says workspace assets. If I was to click on that, it shows this really awesome um, thing here. And this is your main group of assets. So the first thing that you, you would want to do when you are starting your own brand information, I, I would come here and I would choose the the photo so for example at the moment this is like a medical themed thing and you can see that we already have a couple of photos here so if i want to add another one i can just find free free images here so i can search for like health and it will load up some free free images right so maybe i want to add this other one here so i just drag it onto photo three because you can see photo three is empty at the moment right there you go so now we have another option um maybe i also want to drag this one i mean obviously i'm not really doing this really carefully i mean if 
uh, when you were going to do this, then you would do it really carefully. And I would say that at the beginning, it takes a little bit of time for you to work out how to get this organized in a good way. When I first started using this, at first some of my things were a bit all over the place, if you know what I mean. So after a while, you kind of learn like the colors that work together and the type of images that would work together and stuff like that. Because for example, here is like the backdrop and you don't really want anything very, very busy in the backdrop. Usually where, where it says icon one, that's where I will upload my my logo of the the branding that I would like. And then of course you can change any of your, you know, these are like your your core messages so you can change these over here look see our family it says our family caring for yours whoopsie so see i can like change that to everything if i want right so i'm going to change that back to yours because obviously i'm not really doing this very carefully but you know what i mean so you can change these the text here and this is like your core messages of your brand and then Usually what I do in text three is I will do my website address, right? So maybe you, for this, we might put www.gethelp.com. I mean, obviously I'm just doing this very quickly, but I think this is just awesome because you can upload things here. Um, you can even choose what style um, of images and things that you will use and then after you have all of this completely exactly how you would like it you just click on layouts and if we go right up to the top you can see we've got ads here we've got social we've got print and we've got other now i think this is just amazing so if i want to make a facebook ad look i just need to click here and it it will take all of this information that you've just given it and it will re mix it so that it, it just makes it so easy for you to come up with a quick branded image. I mean, it might it might not be perfect. I mean, you can see here that the image is not really fitting perfectly, but you can like, you know, they will, they will have loads of these. So you can just scroll through them and find one that you like, that you think looks really cool. And all of these are, are on, brand which is just wicked right so they even have ones where you can have like a phone if you have a company and you're making apps that would be perfect right you see this one here it looks a lot better right and then of course this is like a base and then if you want to like change any of this then you just again will go over here and you can change the um the text over here and develop it into an advert or whatever you would like so for me this is just awesome because i have i have to make so much stuff when i have a website and i have like a pinterest account and a facebook account and all of this stuff it basically means that i can very very easily start to come up with all of these image and it's just, they all look really cool and you can obviously adjust them and make them even better. So I am absolutely blown, blown away by this. I think it's a really, really cool software. I've only been using it a short amount of time, so I can't really say all of the features. I mean, I, I think if you're interested in this, I would go on their website and really find out about all of the in-depth features. Um, when you go here for, to ideas, there's a tab that says ideas. So here, look, they give you all these ideas for various like color combinations. Um, I have found that this is the only thing here. Sometimes when I click on some of these, the um, some of the combinations seem a bit weird to me. But I mean, this is a thing that I would play around with. I think over time that you will get better at working out the colors that go together. One thing I really like is you can have a look at ideas for fonts and it, it will give you like a font pairing that they think will work really well. 
So I can just start to click through these and it should start to change all the adverts to this, right? So for example, maybe I think that this one is really cool, right? You just start to click through them and it will give you all the, all the options for the, the font pairings. So I think this is just really, it's amazing. I just re re really, really like the ideas here. Okay, then it will even give you help for your texts in your adverts. So you see here for ideas under text, we can go to problems, secrets, people, industry. There's all this stuff here. We can go to problems. So it says here, problem, here's how to fix it. So if I click on this, it will start to add these into your advert, which is really cool, right? Um, so basically they seem to have a, a lot of stuff covered. And if you have a website and you're really into SEO, search engine optimization, here's another really cool thing. It can ask, it asks you for the file name keyword. So if you've got some keywords that you're really trying to focus on on your website you can enter it in here so for example doctor I can just type doctor for example I mean again it's not the best thing but it's just to show you very very quickly and then every every image file name from this brand will then have some form of this word in it so if you add a load of keywords each of your file names is going to have a slightly different um variation of these words which i think is really cool um of course there are free free images these are all from like free services like unsplash and things like that to be honest if you are making a lot of stuff online i wouldn't really use these images a lot because i find that they get used a lot by other people and then your stuff will end up looking like other people's which is a bit weird so i would find another stock photo service but you know it's a good thing that they have these here they also have icons so we can search for health icons so when we're looking at our workspace assets if we need extra icons we can just drag these icons over here and as you can see there's quite a few of them it's kind of cool right so i can say oh maybe i want to have like a bandage or heart thing so i can just drag that here and there you go that will be one of the icons in all of my adverts and stuff so that's kind of the basic roundup they also have this thing which is called magic import so if you put a website page here and if you were to go on to load you can choose the the photos and the the pictures and things like that that you would like to import directly from a website so you have if you have a website that already has a logo and stuff like that you could then use this this import to easily import all of the information for that that brand so that's really cool right they've really thought of a lot of stuff you can of course add a new workspace and they do have a few examples of workspaces here so if you're really bad at designing you can maybe just choose one of these and adapt it because of course you can rename right there's an option here for you to either duplicate a workspace or rename or delete so if you find one of these work spaces that you really like then you just add it and you rename it to your brand and then you can adjust it in any way that you would like anyway that wasn't really a full proof walkthrough of everything but it's just to give you an idea of what this service offers i'm going to be using this service a lot i think it's amazing like i said at the beginning i think if you are creating a lot of brand images for social media for websites this is amazing i yeah i've only been using it a 
short short amount of time but i can see that this is going to be saving me a lot of time i mean i am making pinterest images pretty much every day i'm trying to add things to my websites like pretty much every day so for me this is awesome so like i said at the beginning if you want to check this out i have some links in the description below so thank you for watching and i will see you next time